subject we got that came in today is um. What happens when your what happens when relationships become reruns? In other words, you're going from mate to mate, and you notice that you're having the same problems or the same complaints. Um, uh, on your part? On oh, yeah. Well, you're the problem. Yeah, you're the common denominator. <laughs> that's, that's that's straight off. I would think that. But what about if, it, if it's somebody that you've been dealing with for a while, and then you keep, you know, the relationship keeps coming back in the same reason, the same subject comes up all the time. Then it's probably who's got both parties. There. Really? Yeah. It's usually when somebody's fucked up. That's what that, <laughs> that shit. That shit comes back. And like maybe you. Oh, something. that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. like you did something, and then you're like. You know, they're bringing up two years, they're like, yeah, man, where the hell that came from? Okay, so it sounds like we had a few scenarios. Yeah. So we'll, we'll kind of clarify things for you guys so you don't get confused. Uh, one of the whole scenario we're going to talk about is um, you as a person dating people and keep running into the same issues. That's one scenario we're going to talk on and touch on. The next one is that you're currently in a relationship and uh, you're experiencing uh, rerun uh, effects. In other words, the other party bringing up things you did in the past constantly and new problems in a new arguments in relationship. So which one do you want to tag, tag, tag first? This is the one where you're the, the common denominator in yeah. each. Yeah. So uh, if you if you uh, if several guys complain about maybe uh, how unaffectionate you are, uh, chances are that <laughs> chances are that you're heartless? Huh? No, not really, it's just chances are that he's gonna be the person. Way. You know, because some guys, some guys, um, you know, guys like to feel like, you know, you show them a little affectionate, but after a while, it's like, if you see that your relationship is not working out because they keep complaining about the same thing, it's really hard for a person to go ahead and try to be affectionate now, and then when they go ahead and do that, then they still get the same results, you know, and then they be like, man, fuck this, I'm not going to do that shit again, I'll go back to my old way. You know what I mean? And that happens a lot, of things. Then you got, like, the ones that five months with them. For some reason, this seems to be a time, a time thing. Every guy you go for five months, suddenly say they need their space, yeah, like around yeah, the five month period. That's probably usually around I the time when they, get, when they get to know you really in depth. Yeah. Like I can't really deal with this. She's beautiful, yeah. but I can't deal with this. Yeah, she can't kiss. Oh, oh man, if a girl can't kiss, man. I'm talking to her, man. That's you said tough, that. That's a tough one for me to climb on. No, no, no. You can, if if she's can if she can even allow me to kiss, that's a whole big start to, to train her. It's kind of, but what about for the ones that don't like the kiss and thinks it's disgusting? Oh, man. She oh. better have some good ass. <laughs> <laughs> she better have some outstanding kanani. Because I, I, I like to passionately kiss, dog. And that, that, kissing is more intimate than sex, really. It's, yeah, it is. You it, know what I mean? It, it, ties, it, helps the, it helps the intercourse. Yeah, exactly. Because then you just go ahead and just jump right into it and not kiss it. You feel like you're paying for the ass. You feel <laughs> like you're like, like a prostitute or something. Like, they, don't feel, they don't feel like you're... Oh. Kissing back because you don't like kissing. Yeah, it's like a fucking statue. Yeah, it's, a, oh, it's an arm candy, uh, with the exception. She better be drop dead. Yeah, she's gorgeous did. and good ass. Cause it don't matter if she look good. She better have some good ass. She, that ass. I don't know. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> kissing back. For me, it's gotta be kissing. Yeah. If you don't want to kiss or don't know how to kiss, and every if you train it, it's just still bad. Oh, that's such a turn off. That's a pet peeve. Okay, what, what about the ones where the the guys are always telling them, damn, you're you, you really messy as hell, you know, in oh, the house, you know? Man. You know what? That's what I think I think girls don't think that guys care about that stuff. Me personally, I care about that, man. Oh, I'm not a clean, God. clean well, I'm not, but, but I've seen shit. I've lace seen. fronts over here, lace front over there, <laughs> tap packs, the, the douche bottle, empty douche bottle on top of the, the fucking, uh, the bathroom wins. No, no, no. we, 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 we've heard the horror shit, stories. Dark. We heard the horror stories how it looks in the women's bathroom. Okay, so imagine these particular women that are disgusting in a, in a female's restroom. Can you imagine oh, man. with their personal le the bedroom it's a Turn off, man. Even if the ass good, dog. I can only put up with it for this much. It's here, man. Once you get into a relationship and live with a person, that's just gonna drive yeah, you clutter. Off. It's called clutter. <laughs> <laughs> women's clutter. I can't deal with that, man. Even if she, that one, if, even if she have good ass. I can't, I can't see myself selling down the car. I gotta live with that. Mm -hmm. Okay? I can't. The kissing thing, uh, but no, the, the clutter, the clutter factor, and, uh, <laughs> cooking and then able to hold the, the sink full of dishes. I don't mind, I wash them up, but I know every time she cooks or don't cook, the whole kitchen does a mess. 
She got a lace front on top of the kitchen cover. What so, happened lace front on the kitchen cover, Steve? That's true. I have to, <laughs> I, I wanted to mention I wanted to mention not cooking, but I never really heard guys complain about oh I'm gonna break up with this girl because she's not cooking. Have you heard that? And that that happens in the end. In the beginning it's fine because uh, love is love yeah, is good but it's all brand new. Music music sunshine said the best. <laughs> but after a while, like God damn, we eating out a lot. The economy's strong. The economy's bad. I'm spending all my damn money, you know. So, so, and, so, it, and she's trying to learn that, like, you know, she can make. Oh, money. that's just the that's not a problem. She yeah, yeah, that. but she's not trying and nothing, and I, and I can cook and I'm trying to help her. Like, you know, she ain't really into it. You gotta look out for that, guys. We care. We care in the end, not in the beginning. I noticed that. We care in the end in the relationship or the middle. That you know, the, the little things are kind of important. Now. But in the beginning, as long as the ass good and she can kiss. You got the arm candy is all we ride for in the beginning. After a while, in the end, like God, I can't, I can't do this no more. It's fucking lace fronts everywhere. Wigs, wigs, and lace fronts every fucking everywhere I go. I step on with lace fronts. Okay, I, I can't take this. You just step. Fuck. That's I'm not coming home. <laughs> the, lace, the lace, the lace thing's taking off like crazy, kid. Yeah. You know, those shits are everywhere. If I see a white lady with a lace front on, I'm running. It's, no, it's cool. I'm not knocking it. I just, I'm not knocking it. Just, I just wish some some girls would take the time to to make it look a little better. Cause some of them have like very like straight lines, straight tape lines. <laughs> like Steve Harvey, and like you just went to the barber and you taped up your 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 lace. I, I, just, I just wish they'd take a little time to instead of just throwing it on and running out the house, just actually you know blending their baby hair. Yeah. It out. You know when they take the time when they're going out to the club. That's it. Supermarkets, cause they still slap it on. It's still on there. Okay, it's still there on there. You can't take it off. It's glued on. With the little masking tape. Club, they make sure it's done. They make sure the baby hair blending in. Oh, all yeah. That. Yeah. When we get away from the subject, that's right. So, okay, now next up, the next scenario we talked about is um, you having uh, your relationship becoming a rerun when your significant other is uh, bringing up things you did in the past. Yeah. Whether it's been an uh, uh, affair, could have been an affair you did in the past. That, or, that's going to always come up, though. Yeah, so how. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any advice on how to get around that. One way I can say don't, if you get around it, is don't cheat. <laughs> you don't want that shit to come back up. Don't cheat, fellas, okay? You don't cut. Listen, if she cut, if she catch you, just remember, if she forgive you and want to move forward, that shit's going to always come up. So if you can deal with it, fine. If not, Leave and shit everything you do. Oh, you didn't take out the chance? I bet you got the chance at that bitch house. Oh, like, uh, fuck. Yo, they're going to tie that shit uh, with everything. everything. God damn. Who? Did the fish die? <laughs> I bet that bitch, that fish in that bitch house ain't dead. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that fish in that bitch house is dead. You're going to buy another one. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, man. Yeah. Don't cheat. Or if you do get caught, get out of the relationship, dog. Get the frig out. Don't want to stay. What yeah. else, dog? Yeah, another one can be, uh, that comes up in a relationship is, uh, uh, a lot, I do, women do touch on um, that they feel like they're doing everything around the house as far as responsibilities with the kids. Yeah. And that, that's a, a, a constant rerun. Yeah. That, yeah. You know, it's always coming out of their mouth that you don't help out enough for the kids and what the responsibility. I know this woman said that a lot, and I think it's probably true. I think it's probably true because. Guys, um, not all guys, but some guys, they just really don't really, they're not really homey, homemade, you know, the, the help around the house, they just really don't put the effort into it. Unless they've been like bachelors for a while and they're used to taking care of themselves, the guys that really do, those guys actually can be that way. But the guys that's been living with their mom for a while, or always had a girlfriend that does that, it's kind of hard for them to like break into that, so, tough nookies. Alright, so that's it, uh, no questions. Uh, we actually didn't even get a chance to really answer it, you know, the way we wanted to. But, you know, part two. Yeah, we tried to do a part two to actually give the answers. But uh, we're signing out, Steve, and Horace with NHS. And the website is NHS.com. We comments, comments on the polls. Maybe something we missed, fill it in on Facebook or our website. And let us know. Inform us. We're your students. We're our students. We're the teachers. You're our teachers. We're signing out. That's pretty fast. Sound like a summer.